Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about IXLJ7 solving equations and or filling the gaps to complete uh, the process of solving the equation. So it says complete the process of solving the equation, fill in the missing term on each line, simplify any fractions. So in here, let me just zoom in a little. Okay. So the original equation has 2 times in the parentheses u plus 2 equals 16. The next step, there's no 2 times, right? So, and it tells us to end up with this step, it tells us to divide both sides by 2. These instructions are for the previous steps. That's how the proofs work in geometry class as well. If you have an explanation, it goes for the previous step. So divide both sides by 2 to end up with this. So if you divide the left side by 2, that's going to be cancelled out. Right side divided by 2, 16 over 2 is 8, right? So that would be that blank. And then when you have u plus 2 equals 8, how do you end up with u equals? You should know this by heart anyways, but even if you don't, it literally tells you how to end up with this. Subtract 2 from both sides. This doesn't tell you what to do over here. It tells you what to do over here in the previous step. It's like this. Subtract 2 from both sides. 8 minus 2 is going to be 6 for the right side. So let's submit this and move on with our lives. For this one, we have 3c plus 3 equals 9. Even if you don't see the rest of the question, you should know that you need to subtract 3 from both sides. And that's what it says in here. Subtract 3 from both sides. What's 9 minus 3? Isn't that 6? Now that we have our next step, which is 3c equals 6, you should all know how to get that c by itself by doing the opposite or inverse of that operation. That's multiplication. We need to divide everything by 3, which is what it says over here. Again, these instructions go for the previous step. 6 over 3 is 2. That would be our answer for this question. So this right here, subtract 10, which is what you do. Left side is already done and brought down. 17 minus 10 is 7. And multiply by 11. This would be 7. And the next step, multiply by 11. 7 times 11 is 77. So I will... What did I do? Oh, no. I don't think I did anything wrong. What did I do? I put 77. Oh, okay. So I think I didn't hit the button enough hard. So this one was seven. That was was that one was seventy-seven. Uh, moving on to the next uh, next level. Okay, let's check this one out. This is our first left side, original left side, and we want to get rid of that divided by seventeen. Look at that next step. If you want to get rid of divided by 17, you need to multiply everything by 17. But even if you don't know this, read the next step that tells you what you need to do. So if you are figuring out the right side, do what it says. Multiply by 17. Your right side is 1. Multiply that by 17. 1 times 17 is 17. That's our answer. And then when you have v plus 16 equals 17, you need to get rid of that plus 16 by subtracting 16. But then again, even if you didn't know that, it tells you over here, 17 minus 16 is just 1. So I just want to make sure that I typed it right, so when I submit it, it doesn't say wrong. Okay, over here, let's jump one more level. level. The questions are all the same. Okay, now we have more options. Okay, this is better. So, again, I want to solve this question before looking at that, personally. If you don't, just click the drop-down list and see what it is. So when I have 2 times a plus 3 on the left side, and looking at the second side, what is missing? This right here is missing. It was multiplied to cancel it out. You need to divide each side 
by 2. And test it out. Divide your right side by 2 and see if you get that number. 8 over 2 is 4, so yes, that's what I am supposed to do. Divide both sides by 2. And now that I have a plus 3 equals 4, to get the a by itself, what do you need to do? This is what you need to do. And it tells you that over here. So in that case, a would be 4 minus 3 equals to 1. So let me just type that over here. And then move on with our lives. Let's jump one level. Okay, in here, that's gone from the left side, right? It was plus 11. How do you cancel it out? Don't you subtract 11? And then you have 5u. It turns into 1u. That 5 is gone. It was multiplied. You want to divide by 5, which is what it says over here. And if you divide the right side by 5, what's 5 over 5? Isn't that 1? Let's skip one more level. 74 points. Okay. Hmm. Oops, I just want to make sure that I didn't turn off my mic. Okay, it's on. So, right side stayed the same, right? So, I'm not going to divide both sides, multiply both sides, add both sides. I'm not looking for those kind of things. So, these are not what I'm looking for because if I subtract negative 2, if I add or subtract that number from both sides, right side should change as well. But it didn't change. So, I'm not adding, I'm not multiplying, subtracting, dividing both sides. I'm just doing operations with one side. That's kind of like common sense. Okay, so look at the left. Again, right side didn't change in between these two. It's still 8. Anything that says both sides is wrong. This is wrong. Oops. That's wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. I have only one option left. Apply the distributive property. Because I cannot do anything with both of the sides if the right side stays the same. It should be only one side. There's only one option that doesn't tell me both sides. This last here is my option. But let's explain why. Distribu distributive property is when you literally distribute a term inside the parentheses, like this. Negative 2 times negative 2y, and then negative 2 times positive 2. And if you do that, 2 negatives multiplied gives you positive 4. Keep the variable. Negative times positive is negative. 2 times 2 is 4. So that's the left side you have. And then bring down your right side. Okay? And then... From this one to that one, what's missing? 4y is dropped down. There was negative 4, but now there isn't. How do you cancel that negative 4 out? Don't you just add? So if you do plus 4 to each side, which is 8 plus 4, gives you 12. So and then you have your left side. We added 4 to both sides. And next question. Your 4y turned into 1y. It was multiplied. If you want to cancel it out, you want to divide both sides by 4. And if you divide the right side by 4, 12 over 4 is 3. I will skip one level and then do our last question. Okay. It looks complicated, but it is not. Realize that the right side stayed the same. So we are not doing anything with both of the sides. We are just doing something with the left. What is that something? This is called distribution property or distributive property. Looking at the options, uh, apply the distributive property. Now that we have that step, 22 is brought down, right? And then what is going on? 17 is brought down. There is a change on the right side. Something has disappeared, right, from the right side. There's no 7c anymore on the right side. How do you cancel that out? It was positive. So if we subtract 7c from both sides, then we can end up with the next step. 20t is brought down. 22 is brought down. 17 is brought down. And then negative 32 minus 7 is negative 39c. Negative 39c. 
lowercase, not uppercase. Okay, now let's get rid of this. And it, it also tells us what to do in here anyways. You didn't need to figure it out. I just realized that. Subtract 7c. And now, from this step to that one here, no change in this. But then, this is gone. Negative 22 from the left side is disappeared. How do you do that? Don't you just add 22 to get rid of that number? Add 22 to both sides. So now that we have negative 39c equals 39, divide both sides by negative 32, 39. So if you divide positive 39 by negative 39, the answer is going to be negative 1. This was the last question. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in another video. And please let me know if you have any questions, guys.